whatever. They do have access to it while they're here. So that's really what prompted us. Police are probing an incident in the city which has left a man nursing a gunshot wound. According to lawmen, around three yesterday afternoon, Seymour Thomas of Greenfield St. Michael was shot in his left foot while in the area. Reports are that he was taken to the QEH for treatment. His attacker is still at large and investigations are continuing. Meanwhile, the search continues for a Barbadian and three other people who escaped a detention center in Port of Spain on Friday. According to reports, the other detainees were a Jamaican, a Grenadian, and a Nigerian. They escaped the immigration detention center where they were being held for immigration violations. Their names have not been disclosed. A guard making his rounds at the Aripo Center noticed they were missing after he found that a steel door had been forced open. The illegal immigrants reportedly scaled a barbed wire fence and escaped into a nearby forest. A joint police, army, and immigration officers uh, searched several areas yesterday with no success. A statement issued by that country's Ministry of National Security said that the detainees were not prisoners but were being held until their individual matters were addressed. We'll have more news after the break, but first we want to get your take on the question. Do you think public-private sector partnerships are the way forward to fund state services like healthcare and transport? Text yes or no to short code 8111. The result will be heard at the end of the news. Upgrade to data all the way. Get the Huawei Y330 with a great free gift. Upgrade Christmas with Lime. At this moment, all of my past accomplishments mean nothing. Better starts now. Citizen. Echo Drive. Powered by light. Any light. Never needs a battery. Citizen. Make this Christmas a delicious Bico Christmas. Treat yourself and the family to all flavors of Double Delight 5 liter sizes at $57.99. And all 2.5 liter sizes at just $36.99 fat inclusive. And just in time for the season, Bico Christmas Pudding Ice Cream is now available. Get yours today. This offer available for a limited time only from participating retailers, Bico Mobilers, and Bico Direct Outlet. Merry Christmas from Bico. Ho, ho, ho! Put Trimart in your cart this Christmas and win! Every time you visit our friendly and convenient Rendezvous, Mile and the Quarter, or St. Martin's location, fill your cart with our great selection of Christmas goodies, including farm-fresh poultry, meats, and vegetables. Then listen for the bell when you're at the checkout counter, and you could instantly win great prizes like food hampers, in-store vouchers, wine, chocolates, and so much more. So put Trimart in your cart this Christmas and win! Trimart. Good value, great choice. Deck the halls with Christmas spirit. Fa -la 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 -la. Make your Christmas bright and merry. Fa -la 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 -la. We're getting in the spirit at my cave shepherd. Crossing off your list at my cave shepherd. The best Christmas gifts at my cave shepherd. Meet me for memories at my cave shepherd. Unwrap all your Christmas treasures. Fa -la 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 -la. Meet me here at my cave shepherd. I sent a text to the economic program, and then I got a call saying that I was a winner. This system is beautiful. For baths, it is excellent. I want to thank Sun Power for this wonderful gift and giving back to the community. And I want to say again, thanks very much to Economics and Sun Power. And I encourage everyone to watch the show. You too can be a winner. Tonight we hear that the profile of people showing up for the monthly lunches provided at the Salvation Army by the Kiwanis Club is changing. 
President of Kiwani Central, Pamela Lord, says the developing trend is worrying. Ms. Lord, who played Santa for the day, was speaking to the media on the sidelines of the Christmas luncheon at the Army's Reed Street headquarters. She says there has been an increase in the numbers and younger people are coming. More persons are coming, but what we have found over the years that the age group is younger. When we first started, there were older persons, over 60 and that, but now we're finding in the 30s are coming, which is a concern to us. And since we have been getting the children, that is particularly distressing for us. Ms. Lord says on this occasion, around 100 people, including two children, were fed and given special treats. I look forward to our coming every third Sunday. So like I said, today is a special day. And normally on Christmas and Father's Day, we give them something extra so that they can feel just like how the other persons would be feeling in the Christmas mood. Also, we have you no know, little treats for them. They're not little children, but at least we wouldn't be giving them toys, but we'll be giving them, you know, something extra because it's Christmas. The, the Ministry of Culture, Sports and Youth celebrated the talents of young people with a Christmas concert. Minister Stephen Lashley was present at the event and lauded the performers, saying he plans to get them into a new youth achievement program. And one of the things that we do is that each time we have these events and we discover young people, we try to get them into that program. So I assure you that all of the young persons who we have seen here tonight, we're going to get into that youth achievement program. And, and we're going to make sure that their skills can be developed and harnessed. We're at a very interesting time when it comes to talent development. And, <coughs> excuse me, and next year, we will see the, uh, we were going to activate the Cultural Industries Development Act. And of course, we're going to be doing much more to develop youth talent and the talent of our entertainers and performers in, in Barbados. Meanwhile, young people at the Sterling's Children's Home have received an early Christmas gift in the form of holiday hampers. The Insurance Corporation of Barbados Limited donated hampers for the 18 children at the St. Philip Home earlier today. House parent Marcia Burke says the children are happy to be remembered at this time of year and the gifts are welcomed. There are times like these when people remember us a lot. Continuously through the year, you would have the, the support groups who are normally working with us, like the Rotary, the Optimists, the Kiwanis, and those persons who would volunteer in terms of doing um, homework and so with the children. So um, you, might, you would get your bulk of support at festive times. And Senior Vice President at ICBL, Alex Tasker, says the company is proud to be providing support to the institution and it can expect more assistance in the new year. During the course of 2015, we'll be back to give you more meaningful support for the institution here. So we want to, to say to you, we are not forgetting you. And um, all the children here who have memories of the school, we want to continue to ensure that they get the best care and the best, um, and the best facilities wherever possible. We'll take a break here and come back with regional news. But first, we want to hear from you on the question. Do you think public-private sector partnerships are the way forward to fund state services like healthcare and transport? Text yes or no to short code 8111. The result will be seen at the end of the news. You can also follow us on Twitter at CBC underscore Barbados and on our Facebook page, CBC News Barbados. Now here's a tip from the Coverley Medical Center. Your taste for salt will change by reducing your intake. It also reduces your blood pressure, which can reduce your risk of heart disease. 